uh, Ronda Rousey was in the back and slept, walked through a promo for about 20 seconds and then came out and had a match with Natalia. And did you notice the most notable thing about the Ronda Rousey versus Natalia match? Was it Ronda wearing the red shirt? No, it was Ronda Rousey's entrance to the ring with music came at the top of the 9 p.m. hour. So they may not have any very many stars on this program, but they know where to put them. Again, a simple Vinceism. Top of the hour and to a lesser extent, the bottom of the hour, you need a star headed to the ring or in the ring. So again, you know, Natalia tried here. Rhonda took over almost immediately. Her judo is great. Her work is herky jerky and awkward. It's not smooth at all. She's not getting better. I don't know that she's trying. I I think by everything you can see from Ronda Rousey, that the bloom is off the rose for her on this wrestling thing. And she's doing it now because she signed a contract. I don't see her having a ton of fun. I don't see her trying to improve. I don't see her going out there and just goddamn shucking the corn all the way down to the cob on the promos and just really being into this. It's like, get it over with. And that's the way we feel watching her at this point. Natalia did a good job getting her through this, but finally Rhonda slipped out of a slam, got the ankle lock, and got a tap out in, what, four minutes, or was it four minutes? And then music plays, and here comes Liv Morgan out with a baseball bat. So now you have this preposterously plastic, painted-up Barbie, all five foot two and 92 pounds of her, that brought out at dragging a baseball bat. I thought it might because it was too heavy for her to lift. And then they stand there and face each other, her and Rhonda. And then she goes to swing the bat at Rhonda and Rhonda just boots her in the stomach and stops her. <laughs> and then she goes to swing again and Rhonda ducks out of the way and Liv Morgan hits the ring post three feet above where Rhonda Rousey's head was. I mean, th there was no chance of an accident here. There was, why would you even do something like that? You can see where the human being in front of you is, right? So swing, and if they don't move, apologize, right? But if you know they're going to move and you're making any attempt to try to make it look good, you're going to swing somewhere in the vicinity of where their head was, right? Try to go maybe right over the top or to the side or just hope they duck or whatever. No, let's three feet just to make sure. And then Ronda Rousey gave Liv Morgan, all 92 pounds of her, her Piper's Pit finish on the floor. And 10 seconds later, by an actual count... Liv Morgan is up fighting with Ronda with a tug of war over the bat. And then Ronda flipped her over the rail and walked off, picking her shorts out of her crotch. But Liv comes from behind and they have a big pull apart. This would have been good with anybody but Liv Morgan. But on the bright side, she's pretty good with the bat. Maybe the Phillies can sign her. Oh, good Lord. Um, they have women. They Lacey Evans. Charlotte. Rhea Ripley, you could Bianca Belair, you could buy any of these people against Ronda Rousey, but it's Liv Morgan. What, does, does Liv Morgan have pictures of somebody with a with a sheep, or I, I, maybe in Japan, maybe here? I'm not quite sure, but you know, I think part of the problem, and maybe I'm wrong because I'm not a big WWE modern fan. But I feel like Liv Morgan's less over this week than she was a month ago than she was two months ago as they were trying to build her into something here. I feel like the more we've seen of her, the less over she is with their audience. Unless I'm wrong, but based on the reaction, based on watching this stuff, I'm not sure what they're doing. But look, the women's divisions everywhere are a mess. You brought up Charlotte. We haven't seen Charlotte in forever. Who's the other name? Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans got put through a table last week. The first time I've ever seen a woman destroyed like that on TV. It was on this show last week by Liv Morgan. By Liv Morgan. Yeah, so we don't even know if we'll see her again. Because what a way to write someone off TV than that. Well, 